Israel has been carrying out more airstrikes against militants in the Gaza Strip after its targeted killing of a top Palestinian commander overnight. Israel says Baha Abu al Atta of the Palestinian militant group Islamic Jihad was behind a series of rocket attacks on its territory. Palestinian militants responded by firing rockets at Israeli cities, including Tel Aviv. Citizens across southern and central Israel have been instruct instructed to stay inside. It is one of the worst escalations of violence on the Israel-Gaza border in years. And for more on this story, we can speak to journalist Hazem Balusha. Uh, he is following this in Gaza City. Hi, Hazem. Thank you for joining us. Uh, can you bring us up to date on what's been happening at the moment there in Gaza? Well, um, as you mentioned, today was um, a day of exchanging fire, firing rockets from Gaza. Tens of rockets were fired from Gaza into the Israeli cities, reached Tel Aviv. Uh, but most of it was to the nearby uh, uh, cities, uh, the Israeli um, uh, jets and, and, and air forces targeted many places, uh, mainly military sites, and uh, some of the those um, uh, some people, some um, the uh, no faction claimed responsibility or um, uh, announced anything, but apparently they are those people who are, um, according to Israel, they they stand behind firing mm -hmm. rockets. Uh, so since the morning, Gaza is. Uh, 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 is, is a different day. It's out of sudden. There is escalation after years of uh, of quietness. Uh, schools, government institutions, uh, and and banks are closed today in Gaza. Now, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he did speak earlier at a press conference. Uh, let's listen now to what he said about the killing of this Gaza militant. <laughs> In the past year, this arch-terrorist was the main generator of terrorism from the Strip. He initiated, planned and carried out many attacks. He fired hundreds of rockets at communities in the Gaza periphery, whose suffering we haven't ignored. He was in the midst of plotting additional attacks these very days. He was a ticking bomb. So we heard the words there, a ticking bomb. You know, how significant was he? Well, um, I mean, actually, uh, it's it's weird how 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 this name um, uh, become in the top news. Actually, the name of Baha Abul Atta appeared like a couple of months ago, um, as Israel accused him of standing behind foreign rockets into Israel. Uh, precisely at the when the rockets fired, when when Netanyahu himself was giving a speech in in in, in a city of Ashdod um, before the elections, um, uh, he's 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 not the top leader of uh, military wing of Islamic Jihad. He's not the the first person. He's uh, one of the commanders who's uh, in um, uh, as Islamic Jihad said, he is the the commander of uh, northern uh, uh, region uh, in the Gaza Strip. Um, uh, the talks and, 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 and the people started to talk about, about him since the Israelis started to accuse him um, uh, of standing behind the rockets uh, fired into Israel. And it has now led to this, as you said, significant escalation. Hazem, where do you think this is heading? Well, this is the this is a hard question to answer. It's it's too early to say that if there is uh, uh, going to be a, an, a fourth war, uh, it depends. Actually, to be honest, on on the Hamas reaction. Hamas is the biggest uh, power in, in in Gaza, and it has it's the biggest uh, cam, um, military capabilities in Gaza. If they joined uh, the, the, the 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 retaliation and they responded and firing rockets into Israel, it might go uh, uh, broader and bigger. But if Hamas, um, uh, which is more uh, uh, willingly, according to the analysts, that will 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 give the opportunity to Islamic Jihad to respond uh, and fire rockets, which means that this would be um, uh, uh, limited and uh, it will has an end within a uh, uh, short time, maybe days, maybe hours. We don't know. All right, journalist Hassan Balusha speaking to us from Gaza City. Thank you very much.